Hello everyone. We're going to go over the different grips that we are using. I'm going to start with the racket. We, we went over the racket and I'm going to go over the racket one more time so we know each part of, of the racket. This is the bottom of the racket. This fat part right down here at the bottom is called the butt of the racket right here. From where the butt ends right here all the way up to here in this area is called the handle. This part is the throat and the face comes about three quarters of the way up to right about here, the face, and then we have the head of the racket. So that's a brief understanding of the racket. Now in the handle, we have these lines and there are eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as you go around. And these lines are called bevels and they're here to distinguish between the various grips. So the grips we will be using is the forehand grip, which is a semi-western grip. The semi-western grip is going to be, be a little bit behind this bevel right here. So, you know, you can go in the middle, but we're going to use, but we're going to go right here behind this bevel right here. One way that you can get to the um, semi-western forehand grip is by laying the racket down. You take your hand like this and pick it up. And as you can see, so when you do that, you are right there in the semi-western forehand grip. Another way is you can just have your racket in front of you, take your racket, grip it right there, and there it is. Now, some people have the ability where you can see this top flesh and then there's a little flesh that goes on the bottom and creates like a little V. See, and as you can see right there, that the flesh and it meets right behind that line. That also can be a little in indicator that you are at the semi-western grip, but some people it's totally different. It's flat there, it's kind of hard to see, but for the most part, you want to be right there behind that grip. Next, you always want the index finger pointed up so that there's a little gap there. You never hold a racket like this. You have the index finger pointed up there like that. So here we have the semi-western forehand grip. The next grip we're gonna go over is the backhand grip. Um, for for left-hand players, same principle applies. Put the racket on the ground, lift up. There we are, we are at the semi-western grip. So now, so now the semi-western grip is over here on this side for left-handed players right there. I have it, the little flush right there. It is behind that bevel right there. And that's the left-handed player forehand semi-western grip, okay? So you can either lay the racket down on the ground, pick it up, or just take your hand as a left-handed player. Take your hand, put it there. Have the index finger pointed up for you know as for left left-handed player and put it right there behind that bevel. Next, we're going to go over the western backhand grip for a right-handed person. It goes on here goes the top of the racket. The Western backhand grip is gonna go over here to this bevel. So I take my hand, my right hand, and now that V there over here is gonna be on this line right here. So now I have my backhand grip right there. For a left-handed player, you're gonna come over, for left-handed player, we're gonna come over to this side, to this bevel right here, and now my hand's gonna come here and be right there I'm right there on that line. And now that's gonna be my backhand grip. And once again, my index finger is pointed up a little bit. Put my hand in there, that's my backhand grip. Western backhand, right hand, Western backhand grip. There we are, right there for, back for a right-handed and left-handed player. Next, we're gonna go into continental grip, which is for serving, volleys, overheads, slicing, and all your other shots. Continental grip for a right-handed player is gonna go on top of, on, on the top left-hand bevel. So we put the racket in there. We, we put our hands right on top of the line right there. So now the line is right there on top of that bevel right there, continental grip. For a left-handed player, we're gonna come over here and the line's gonna be right there on top of that, on top of that line right there for a left-handed player on there. Right-handed player, 
top of this line right there. Index finger pointed up. Left-handed player on top of that right line there. Index finger pointed up right there. So those are the three different grips. Semi-Western forehand, Western backhand, and Continental grip. And just one last note. When you open up your hand, you want the butt of the racket, and this is regardless, and this is for left-handed and right-handed players. You want the butt, the butt of the racket to fit in this flesh. So I take the butt of the racket, I put it there and that flesh there just like that. So see it fits right in there. And I go into my forehand grip and it's right, and see it's, it's right in there. And the reason for this, when I'm when I'm when I'm pronating or using my technique, see it's kind of hard to make that racket do that. But when the racket is in the butt of the there, and now I'm using my technique, it's a little bit easier, you know, to snap the wrist and do things there. So make sure the racket is in the butt, the butt of the racket's in the flesh, and then you grab your various grips right there and. That's the three different grips, semi-western forehand, western backhand, and continental grip.